The all-star update is almost here and I'm gonna give you the details. Let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm Rohan Rivas and I am here at Boss Key Productions. Let's talk about the All-Star Update, which is coming this October 19th. That's this week. I have a lot of details to share about how the Boss Leagues is structured, as well as some other content that's going into the update. So let's just jump right into the update and let's talk about the Boss Leagues. There's a lot going into this feature and there were a lot of questions last week and I wanna make sure that everybody understands how the Boss Leagues is structured before they jump in. So let's go. The Boss Leagues will have solo and duo queuing. So grab a buddy within your skill range and climb through the leagues. The next thing is that there will be single role limits in competitive Boss League matches. There is still a two role max in quick match and skirmishes. For Beta Season 0, the competitive map mode playlist has been determined by the design and level design teams. They want to make sure that these map and mode pairings best represent the competitive spirit of Lawbreakers and the All-Star update. So let's go through them. For Blitzball, the maps are Grandview, Mammoth, Promenade, and Reactor. For Uplink, the maps are Grandview, Mammoth, Promenade, Reactor, and Station. And for Occupy, the maps are Mammoth, Promenade, Reactor, and Station. Next up, you'll need 10 placement matches that must be played before you can receive a ranking in the Boss Leagues. How you progress through the Boss Leagues is based off of the skill of the opposing team and whether or not you won or lost the match. It's all about winning, not KDA. Win-loss ratio and the skill of your opponent is the only thing that factors into your league score. Next up, there is a level 5 barrier to entry to the Boss League Season 0, so you have to be at that level to participate. For future seasons, we may go higher, so stay tuned. Before jumping into the Boss Leagues, remember, Quick Play is a great place to practice and hone your skills as you prepare for the Boss Leagues. So play in Quick Match a few times before you jump in. Remember that this is Season 0. This is basically our beta test for the Boss Leagues. So as we progress into future seasons, please let us know your feedback on the forums or on social of how you'd like to see things improve. We're listening and we will make adjustments. So there's a lot of other stuff in this update and I'm gonna go through them one by one. To start, there is a new map, Gateway. This is part of the update and it's all Blitzball themed. We had a lot of fun making this map. There's a lot of really great details from the environment team, so be sure to pay attention to the Jumbotrons and all of that kind of stuff. We can't wait for you to check it out. Let us know what you think. Next up, a new map variant, Redfall's Blood Moon. People responded really well to our Promenade Night map, so the environment team decided to do another spin on an existing map. Redfall's Blood Moon takes the place of Redfall's in the map rotations. There's some fun stuff in the environment, so be sure to look around. Next up, new all-star theme stash drops. There are brand new stash drops featured in this update. These drops will replace the regular drops upon leveling up and can also be purchased on their own. Each drop will always have at least one all-star themed item, advanced rarity or above, with the chance of the other items to be all-star themed as well. Next up, the linear tutorial. It is done! In an effort to onboard new players, we're providing a special, original tutorial experience that will teach players about the fundamentals of Lawbreaker's movement and mechanics. If you're new to the game, please jump into this linear tutorial first before playing online. Next up, Custom Radicals. We now have the first iteration of Custom Radicals in the game. Many people have been asking for this and we're excited to drop in our first pass with many improvements to come. Next up, Multi-Region Q. It is finally in this update. Thank you for waiting on it. You can now select multiple regions to queue in to help find matches faster. Next up, Spectator Mode Improvements. The team has been hard at work on providing better color logic to the Spectator Mode and also color-coded teams that can be called out through walls. Please read the patch notes when available for more information. Furthermore, there are balance changes in this patch. So what I want to do is walk through some high-level information on some of those changes. Please be sure to check the clinical patch notes for all of the information as what I'm about to say is just the high-level summary. 
So let's get started. All classes increase the time it takes out of combat for health region to start, from 3 to 5 seconds. All classes are getting some sort of balance adjustment in the areas of health, damage, and cooldowns. So please check the notes for the list. The Wraith is receiving significant adjustments, so if you're a Wraith player, please read all of the specifics because he's now a more viable class to be played since the health adjustments. And finally in this summary, we increase the threshold time to spawn in with teammates from 3 to 5 seconds across all modes. So those are just a few things high level for the patch notes in regards to balance adjustments. Please check out the official patch notes for all of the official information. So let's talk about a couple of things that we're working on behind the scenes. There's plenty of stuff there, but we want to give you some transparency on some things that we think are really cool right now. So let's jump in. Improved character silhouettes. We're using a distance-based Fresnel effect that will mimic rim lighting and is used to better differentiate characters from the environment backgrounds as well as better define classes, both in allies and enemies. And finally, new TDM map. There's a new TDM map in the works. We're happy to see how this was received by the community and the level design team is exploring more maps. We can't wait to share more with you soon. So those are just a few things that the team is working on behind the scenes. There's plenty more with future dev updates to come. From everybody here at the studio, thanks for watching, and we can't wait for you to play the All-Star update. Let us know what you think, at Lawbreakers and at Bosky on Twitter. From everybody here at the studio, thanks for watching, and we'll see you online.